today, I want to kind of talk about a life strategy that actually rolls over into your business. So I want to give you some life strategies that will help you and impact how you're growing your business. One of the main things that we often fail to realize because it's something that we carry with us all the time is that our thinking affects our prices in our business and our profits. And we're gonna talk about that on today. If this is your first time joining a broadcast with me, say hello in the comments. Don't be a stranger. If you're on YouTube, make sure you hit subscribe so that we can stay connected. Or on another social platform, make sure you hit like so that we can stay connected and you'll get to see all of the videos that I post um, and the trainings that I do. So, who am I? Like, who's this lady and what is she talking about? You may be wondering. I'm Tanya Wilson Cherry. I am the growth strategist, business coach, and mentor to women service based business owners just like yourself, helping them brand, build, and profit in their business and in their life. I function from a three point perspective abundance mindset, personal growth, and business building. I feel when you get those three things in alignment, everything shifts in your life and in your business. And today we're going to talk from a more personal development standpoint than anything else, but I'm going to show you how it impacts your business. So I believe that your business never really grows past the measure that you grow personally. And everything that's transpiring around you is impacting who you be. Now, my desire to do this particular video was something that I've been wanting to do anyway, but I felt it necessary because of the number of women that I work with who had shared this as a struggle that they were having and where they found out that it originated from. So first of all, your thinking has a lot to do with how you're pricing your products and your services. So me teaching from a space of abundance mindset is very intentional. Many of you, many of us, many people have been building their entire life based on experiences they had as children or things that happened to them in their adult life that may have created a new reality mentally for them about their thinking, about what they feel is possible and what they feel is available. And all of that shows up in our business building process. So today we're talking about how your thinking impacts your pricing and your profit. So in a recent consultation with a client, we were deciding what to price her services for. Well, I think we started with the income goal that she wanted to make stay over the next five years. So that's another thing about me. I believe that we should build for long-term sustainability and not just for the moment. So we create visions within our destiny design that are further out than where we are now, which leaves us things to stretch, things to obtain. It allows us to create futures bigger than our past. How many of you need a future bigger than your past? Now, creating a future bigger than your past doesn't necessarily mean that you had a horrible past. It could simply mean that you want something greater, right? That you want to step into the next highest version of yourself and create from that space. And so in talking with my client and thinking about where she wanted to see her business and her life in say the next five years, we began thinking about the income goal that she wanted to hit. Now I'm not going to share the number that she said, but I felt it was relatively low because of the value that she provides in the marketplace. And as I began to share that with her, she began to let me know that a lot of her thinking came from situations that she had had before. And those situations were so similar, they hit home for me. So I was married in a dysfunctional marriage for about 14 years. Unfortunately, during that time, there was arguing, unfair, name calling, and a lot of um, mistaken identity or what I call identity theft. So what normally happens when we're hearing negative things, often things that aren't affirming or positive or for our growth, we tend to adapt to the things that we're hearing. Now I know some of you are saying, it doesn't matter what anybody says, says to me, I know who I am. But if you listen to it long enough, it will change something on the inside of you. And I remember times where things were really bad 
in my personal life and how they impacted my business, how they impacted my drive, the things that I thought were possible for me, I'm um, even pricing my services. So as my client began sharing to me that she knew she was struggling with what her value would be in the marketplace and even what she was great at because of some of the situations she had been in before, but she had began creating boundaries, right, from a previous conversation we had that allowed her not to have those negative words being spewed at her all the time, but now she needed to make those same mental shifts that she actually deserved more even in her business. Guys, words are so powerful. Not only what other people are saying to you, but what you're saying to yourself, they impact you on a cellular level. And I mean that like scientifically. So scientists show that everything that's going on with us is basically energy. And so what type of energy, just think about it. If you've ever been in a toxic situation or a situation where uh, words weren't that affirming, it impacts how you think from that point on. You don't feel worthy, you second guess yourself, you sometimes become like a people pleaser, you put yourself on the back burner, you actually lose who you actually are. So we are a royal priesthood for one. We were created by the, the, the creator himself and he describes us as a royal priesthood. But so oftentimes things in life cause us to have what I called before identity theft, mistaken identity. And we, we get in a place where we're uncertain about our value and our worth and what we're capable of doing. We start operating from a space of lack or a space of scarcity and a, or a space of fear, right? And that space never allows us to step fully into who we actually are. I wanna share something with you all that I found um, by this guy named Emoto. And he was a scientist who did a study about water. And he noticed how water crystallized. You know, if it was just pure water and you put it in the freezer, it would crystallize and form these beautiful snowflakes or designs. But if you put unpure water in the freezer, it wouldn't form the designs. It wouldn't form the, it wouldn't crystallize and come together, right? So he did this experiment. He took a bow of pure water and then he began to speak negative words over the water. I hate you, you're not worthy, you're no good, things of that nature. And then he froze the water and he noticed that that water no longer, be now remember the water was pure of any substance other than the energy and the substance that was being placed on the water through words. Guys, words are so powerful. And now the same water that would crystallize and form these beautiful snowflakes that would crystallize into these amazing objects no longer crystallize into those beautiful formations. Once he begins saying all of the negative uh, words, speaking them over the water itself. Then he took another bow and he spoke positive things over the water, um, and these were the waters that were unpure, and they began to form and crystallize into something beautiful. I want to share with you that if you're struggling with your value in the marketplace, sometimes we got to go back and, and check, like, what have we been listening to? What have we been hearing? I know personally, from personal experience, it impacts how we build our business. There are spaces and rooms and price points that we never ever reach because of the words that we have been hearing. Words are powerful. Guys, one of the things that's huge for me is studying the mind and how we think and retraining the brain. So many of the tools and concepts that I teach my clients inside of 3D Success Academy, which I didn't share with you that I'm also the founder of 3D Success Academy for women in business, helping them grow their business and their life. But in the academy, one of the things that we focus on is abundant thinking so that we can move from the limitations that are keeping us from building the businesses and creating the lifestyles that we love. And sometimes the words that we are listen, listening to have impacted what we're thinking. They've impacted what we feel is available to us. So I encourage you on today, 
to step into a space of awareness and be mindful. Is what you've been hearing positive? Is it affirming? Does it help you get to the next level? Or does it cause what I call identity theft? It makes you lose value in who you feel you are, especially in the marketplace, your business owner. Listen, many people are pricing their services way below what is actually profitable, and they struggle to charge the value of their service. Now, value and worth is not the same thing, guys, because we have value based on our level of expertise and the people that we are marketing our particular services to. But many people are just so unaware of how valuable their, their services and prices are. And then there's a fear about actually um, creating the premium products and pricing them accordingly because of words they've been hearing, things that have been said to them. Guys, your relationships are 85% uh, of the success that you'll have in your life and your business. You'll hear me talking about relationships and how they impact your life and your business tremendously, guys. I've been going on this um, research journey for some years about my family lineage and just watching the lives of different women in my family and how the relationships that they had impacted their lives and how their lives changed as their relationships improved. Guys, it's super, super important. You can have relationships in business, relationships with family, relationship with loved ones, spouses, your children. The people that you are in relationship are impacting the way that you think and how you see yourself. Sometimes what you say right out of your mouth, because we can, you know, we can learn the right words to say. But if it's not in alignment with what we're thinking and what we're saying to ourselves and the things that are in our subconscious mind, it impacts every single thing that we attempt to do at a new level. So guys, your thinking can very well impact your pricing for your services and your profit, your pricing and your profit. So be intentional about creating boundaries if you need to about what you're listening to and absorbing and hearing and watching on a regular basis because it makes a significant difference. As always, I invite you to join us inside 3D Success Academy. The details are below in the descriptions. I am Tanya Wilson Cherry, the growth strategist, business coach and mentor to women service-based business owners just like you, helping them grow their business and their life. Have an amazing day until we meet again. Listen, put in the comments, let me know, let's have a conversation. Are there times where you can tell that what you've been listening to on a regular basis in your personal life or in your relationships and connections was actually impacting how you did business? So take the challenge, guys, and step into a space of awareness about what you're hearing on a regular basis and identify if there's actually this fear about really charging what you think your prices and services are worth. Inside our 3D Success Academy, we have what's called the Prosperity Principle, where we go over abundance mindset. We talk about your money ceiling. We talk about those things that may keep, be keeping you from actually getting into your next level. And then I provide you with tools and strategies to help you shift your thinking and think from an abundance space so that everything you do, building your business and your life is in alignment with what you desire.